Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sussie. Um, today I'm sharing with you guys a big nail haul. It's a collective haul. Um, it's stuff that I've just had um, sitting around until I got around to recording it. So um, if you want to see what I got this time around, stay tuned. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know down in the comment section below. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so the first thing I want to share is this uh, marble mortar and pestle thing. <laughs> um, I got this because I wanted to have my own designated mixing bowl for whenever I mix my own glitters. And I got this off of Amazon and I believe it was 11 or $12. I actually ended up going to Ross. And I found the exact same one. So this is the one I got on Amazon and this is the one I got at Ross. And it was actually a lot cheaper there. Um, it was $6.99. So I got this one for my sister. Um, because she's also doing nails and she well I just wanted her to have one like me <laughs> um, so I got her this one and then I'm keeping mine but yeah if you want to get it on Amazon it's $12, $13 around there if you have the chance to go to Ross um, make sure you check them out there because they're going to be a lot cheaper from let me go ahead and get the next item. I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay, so from Amazon, I also um, got this. Uh, what is it? This is the tape for my label machine. I ended up getting clear tape um, with black lettering. So I'm excited to have this for my swatch sticks. I did order also some extra long nail tips and I get these so I could um, use them on my practice hand and create designs. So I needed quite a bit of them. I believe these are 120. Yeah, so it's 120 piece and on Amazon they were like nine or $10. I also got this cuticle nipper and cuticle pusher set I just needed another nipper so I went ahead and got the set so these next items are from Walmart I haven't gone to Walmart in a very long time anytime I need to order anything from Walmart I do the pickup so I ended up going one night um, this is actually not from Walmart this is a gift from my sister um, she found this organizer at the Goodwill, uh, and I love it because it's clear. So make sure you guys check out Goodwill too because you never know what you're going to find. Um, anyways, I was saying that I haven't been to Walmart in a very long time inside, so I don't really, I forgot what it looked like and everything. <laughs> um, but I did go, and I ended up buying all of this. So, first things I found were these jars. So, these three piece jar sets were for a dollar. And they're round, stackable containers. So, I, there was only two left, so I grabbed both of them for a dollar. Then I got all of these um, acrylic paints because I do want to start doing nail art. Um. I try to practice, but my hand shakes so much. I don't know what to do to take that. So, guys, just keep practicing. And then I found this clear bead storage box. Nobody told me that they had these over there. They're clear, and the little compartments don't move. So these are perfect for your crystals. Um, so I ended up getting two. Um, I have the other one somewhere around here, but I did get this one and one other one. Um, so that is what I got from Walmart. Um, this bead set was, or this bead box was only $4.95. This pack of paint that includes all of the 
um, essential colors uh, was five dollars and then these little paints the apple barrels are 50 cents each so I just ended up getting a couple different colors that were different okay so from Amazon I got these um, large personal storage boxes so they are just clear and they are the perfect size to kind of make a prep box. So a prep box would include your paper towel, a brand new file, brand new buffer, a cuticle nipper, um, a cuticle pusher, everything that you're going to need to do your set. So, you know, by having these ready, you're prepared for your next client. You just take it out and then it helps. But you can also use these for... You know, whatever you would like to store files or to store nail buffers, your nail buffers. So these next items are from Dollar Tree. The one that I wanted to share the most was this little glass cutting board that I found in the kitchen section. Um, so I've been using this to um, put my paper towel here and my monomer because monomer does damage your table and it will eat through pretty much anything um, except for glass and your acetone too so it's better that you have something to protect your table and protect the stuff that you bought um, and with just a dollar you can do that so make sure you go get yourself fun take care of your stuff and it doesn't take up too much space it's just like a small square so that's what I wanted to share. And then, um, this isn't from Dollar Tree, so hold on. This um, tweezer set that I found there. So if you guys know, like all of the nail stuff is kind of expensive. So a set like this on Amazon would cost you like 9 or $10. And this is pretty much the same thing. It's just not that fancy looking. Um, but check them out if you have a Dollar Tree. You can get these. It has tweezers, 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 all well, different types of tweezers, but they come in handy whenever you're doing nail art for your rhinestones, for your stickers, stuff like that. So get them. The last thing is this picture frame. So I got this clear picture frame, um, and the purpose of it was for me to stick on my nail tips and display them on there. But it is kind of work to stick them on there. Um, so I'm re I'm rethinking this whole situation. So if I come up with a better solution, I will let you guys know. In the meantime, we're going to put this thought away. <laughs> okay, and then I got these um, nail art brushes from Amazon. So as I stated, I got a lot of paint so I could start practicing nail art, hand-drawn nail art. So, went ahead and got myself some brushes too. So I'm kind of excited to jump into it. I do I do paint. Um, normally, as girls that do nail stuff, um, we have a creative side. So you know, me, I'm very creative. I like to draw. I like to paint. I like to do crafts. Um, I like to do a lot of stuff. And so, I I know I can do nail art. It's just because it's so small, my hand shakes a lot, so that's all I need to practice is just to control the shaking. And hopefully I can get it down. So this is what I got these for. I have this little tub that I was setting aside for to put in all the stuff that I needed to record before I put it away. So let's go ahead and go through it. So first thing is I did end up getting those... Um, striping tapes it's like a 30 pack i think on amazon they were like eight dollars or five dollars something like that so it comes with 30 different colors and these always come in handy you can never have too many of these um i got more long nail tips because i do go through them so fast so i Anytime that I make an order, I try to include more of these because, again, I do practice on my nail hand. And these are the tips that I use because I just stick them in. And that way it's, it's not moving on me or anything like that. So 
So this is what I found that works best for me to use for my practice hand, um, for my Amazon one. Because again, I haven't busted out my red iguana one, so this is what I use for my Amazon one, and it works perfect. Um, I love them. So I try anytime I make an order, I try to make sure that I'm ordering extra of these. And then I did find these nail stickers at Dollar Tree as well. So these are like some trolls and Disney princess. So my thought behind these is that you can probably cut out the characters or even stick them on and then, you know, have some glitter or something behind it. It'll look super cute if you encapsulate them. Um, I had a recent nail box swap and anytime that I buy something for somebody, if I don't have it, I have to buy it for myself as well. So I ended up getting me and Daisy um, this nail art tool. So here you can use this to this end. You can use it to fix the diamonds whenever you're sticking them on and this is just the wax pen on this side. So it's super cute. I don't have one that's cute like this so I'm excited I could finally use it so next is these glue dots so I did buy these glue dots for this idea that I had they were at Dollar Tree right next to the picture frames actually and so I did stick them on I don't know if you could see see them See the glue dots but uh, you probably can right there but so they they are holding up it's just that because the nail tips you know have I don't know it's just difficult to explain to keep them on there but you know like I said we're gonna rethink this thought and then I'll see what works best to stick them on and stay on um, the next thing I got was this coaster cheetah print coaster it was cute and i got this also for the same reason for the monomer um so whenever i have it on my desk i can just put this my monomer like this and that way if there's any monomer on the bottom or on the edge it's not damaging my stuff my desk or anything like that so that's why i got this coaster it is glass Alrighty, and then we have a few more nail art things. So these are part of the tapes that I got. I did get these from Amazon or eBay, I believe. These are just dragon decals. And then I got some little teddy bears from Trendy's Nails. Or I forgot which other places that I ordered from. So oh, these are just some plastic teddy bears. Okay, and then looks like I have some bumblebees here. And these had originally come in a little Ziploc bag, but I didn't like them, so I put them in the little container. And then lastly, I did have some gummy bears. Um, the website did explain that they were big, but I didn't realize they were going to be this big. So these would be like exaggerated ass nails, but you know, for competition or stuff like that, they will come in handy. So that's pretty much everything that I got. There is a part two to this video just because um, there's other packages that I haven't opened yet. So keep an eye out for that part two. If you have any questions regarding any of the stuff that I bought, let me know down below. And if you enjoyed my haul, make sure you give it a like and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much and have a good rest of your day. Bye.